President Vladimir Putin is in Turkey for the inauguration of the Turkstream pipeline, which will deliver Russian natural gas to Turkey and southern Europe. The project, together with the sale of the Russian S-400 missile defense system to Turkey, has helped to secure the country's relationship. Diplomatically, Ankara and Moscow are cooperating closely, but differences persist in their visions for the Middle East and North Africa. In the Libyan conflict, Turkey supports the UN-recognized government of national accord in Tripoli, while Russia backs warlord Halifa Haftar. Çeşitli Avrupa ve Arap ülkeleri tarafından desteklenen darbeci generale karşı mücadele yürüten Trablus yönetimine her türlü desteği verdik, veriyoruz ve vereceğiz. Turkey's parliament authorized a troop deployment to Libya in support of the government in Tripoli. Such an operation could pit Turkish forces against reported Russian mercenaries on Haftar's side. In Syria too, Ankara and Moscow are on opposite sides of the war. Turkey supports opposition forces, while Russia has thrown its military weight behind Bashar al-Assad's regime. Moscow's intervention started in 2015 and has changed the course of the conflict in Assad's favor. The regime's Russian-backed assault on Idlib, the last remaining opposition stronghold, again threatens to place Russian and Turkish-backed forces on different sides of the battlefield. Turkey and Russia have come together to seek a diplomatic end to Syria's war through the Astana peace process, but are their strategic goals too divergent to produce results? And could these differences eventually sour the Russo-Turkish relationship? Adam Pletz, The Newsmakers.